guys, I hope you're having a much happier Tuesday than I am. I've been running around, I am hot. So excuse me if I'm all shiny. Had a bit of a water emergency today. Um, I'm trying to decorate our bedroom. And it involved me having to take the radiator off the wall. But while I was trying to disconnect one side of the radiator, I bust a seal. And unfortunately there's no way to turn it off other than replacing a part, but that means draining the system. All while against the clock because there's water leaking. So, oh now my battery's dying, hang on a second. So once I realised I had a leak I couldn't stop. I had to go into the loft, I had to shut off the ball cock so that it wasn't going to put any more system into the hot water, any more water into the hot water system. I then had to find a piece of pipe of which I had to cut a piece of, basically I had to cut a hose to, to bits and then plug it on the radiator down here. So you can see it's just plugged into that radiator there. And I'm draining the system now. So in theory, there's no water pressure to sort of like come out the pipes. <sighs> now I don't have to worry, I can actually replace the bits I need to replace. Now this is why I, I shouldn't do water stuff when Jen's not out of the house, because I had water going everywhere. This side of the radiator I was disconnecting, I was trying to drain the radiator. Um, but in order to take it off the wall, I had to disconnect this side of the radiator, but this nut thing, it looks like it's seal, uh, like sealed on or something, because it would not open at all. So as I was trying to turn it, this, this bit here that joins the pipe where the water comes up, it, it split or loosened or cracked or something, and water started coming out of it. So down here, I had water spewing out that end, and then water's dripping out this end. Let's just say, I'm not in a good mood today. Oh, it, is, it is too hot to be running around a house. Basically, you needed two people. You needed two people to do this. It's one to hold bits closed and stop leaks, and the other person to actually go and do the stuff that needed to be done. So now I just need to wait for the water to drain, then I can lock the house, and then go to the shop to buy the bits that I need to buy. Stupid Chris. Stupid, stupid Chris. See, evidence that Chris really is busy. So I've just got home after a pretty long day at work to basically the madhouse. Um, Chris is working, there's stuff everywhere, he's had trauma after trauma by the sounds of it today. So to help out, I'm going out to pick up some pieces for him for later on. I it appears he may have made the radiator explode. I don't know, it was a bit of a long story. I got the short end of it. I got the, oh my God, there was water everywhere. I was dying. It was catastrophic. But can you just go get me this little piece of tape and then it'll be fixed. Anyway, I'm taking some of the pressure off him while he's back. Straw tree. While he's stripping the rest of the house, I'm going out to buy the parts. So I'm done. I've collected everything that Chris needs me to pick up from Screwfix. Nice quick in and out job, but dead easy in there. And they're always so friendly. You love how nice the staff are. But I'm rushing home, I cannot wait to get in because we are having a new recipe tonight. Tonight's meal is our very first one of Joe Wick's Lean in 15 meals. And it is, what is it? Quick cod, chorizo and kale, which sounds amazing. We don't eat an awful lot of fish, although every time we eat it, we love it. We just never really, or I never really know what to do with it. So we don't tend to eat a lot of it. Chorizo, we will put chorizo in anything. Chorizo makes everything fabulous. So I can't wait to try that. Ingredients, which hopefully becomes a super tasty dinner. Fingers crossed. I've never cooked my own Lean In 15 meals. I've had like meals with, uh, with friends where they've cooked them and they've been really good. I'm kind of hoping this is gonna be good. We'll see. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna take 15 minutes to do. Just because I'm a really slow cook. And I keep chatting to you guys, right? I need to go and make dinner because I'm hungry. <laughs> Tea was really good. I think I messed up on the fish as much as the recipe was not so great. But it was a little bit too bitty. I would have rather had an actual piece of fish on my dinner, which is a bit of a shame. If I was doing it again, I'd definitely keep the fish separate, cook that separately, and then just kind of put a couple of chunks of it on the final dish as I was serving and not try and mix it all in because it just didn't work. Nonetheless, still really tasty and still a good healthy meal, although those are a huge portion. I can't wait to try the next one. Don't know if we're going to do another one tomorrow night or we'll have a night off. I've managed to replace the two valves on these water pipes. Oh my legs. Ta-da! 
and ta-da, I've given them cozy little ties, neckties, scarves, they're scarves. Basically just to make sure that if there are any little drips or leaks that it A catches it and B is pretty obvious that there is any little drips and leaks. Hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood and all that, we should be good. But I can't put the radiator on just yet because I need to finish clearing the wall and that needs finishing a bit of plaster and a bit of paint and then I can put it back on. And then I need to really have my fingers crossed because there's now like four places that it could leak in. Knowing my luck, it will. And probably when Jen's out at work again and I need like six hands and only have two. I'm not sure what's going on here, but she's stolen my space. What I'm do you working. think you're doing? It's my space, this. I'm working. Someone didn't charge the laptop. Who's the last person to use it? You. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, when we plug it in, we'll see who the last person <laughs> logged in was, won't we? And we'll see if it was you or I that was logged in. It was you. I get a sinking feeling it was you. Mm, it's not me. I think it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. You put it in the cupboard. Yeah, because I put it away because you used it. That's not the belonging place though. The belonging place is here. Where the charger should be. So we can charge it. It looks super cozy. You don't know where to look, do you? Look there. They're there. Hello. Boom. 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 Nose. Boop. He's been pretty disobedient right now. I think he might be tired. I'm tired. His eyes are so red. Shep. You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? Go on. Let's go. Nah, go on. I think he misunderstood me telling him to go outside. I think he thinks we're going for a... We're not. At least not yet. He's just staring at me, he's like, come on! And I'm like, no, no, no! Excuse the same clothes as yesterday. These are my decorating clothes. Jen's watching some crazy ass TV show. What is it? Or is it a movie? Where's the control? I don't know, it's called The Wolf Pack. Striking documentary. Yeah, it's a movie. Yeah. It's weird, I've only caught glimpses of it, but it's just some really weird kids seem to be reenacting films. Yeah, they're film obsessed brothers who have never left the house before and now they're out in the real world and they're using movie scenes to try and understand it. It's really weird. If you guys saw it, let us know in the comments down below. If you haven't, don't waste your time. What? What? Oh my god! Jen, do you want a glass of wine? Yes please. You can have this one. Thank you. You've been to bed already? Yeah. What? Bedtime. For those of you that didn't see yesterday's video, we have a, a perfectly reasonable explanation for a bed <laughs> in our living room. <laughs> Jen, breathe. Um, that is, we are doing our bedroom, which you probably saw earlier on. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We're doing our bedroom, which you probably saw earlier on in this video. If not, you, you either fell asleep or skipped a bit. And we have nowhere to sleep. We have no room, so we have to drag our bed down here. And now we are sleeping in the living room! Because I oh, need to sleep somewhere. Jen seems to think it's really exciting still. How old are you? 12? Well, I'm less this is not a sleepover. <laughs> you can see him. He just wants to get in, but you're not allowed. I so love having the bed in the living room. <laughs> it's, it's so silly and I, mean, I find it really, really exciting. Like, we've just been sitting here watching TV, chilling out, and now I'm here and I'm in bed and I'm all tucked up. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> anyway, I feel like I'm about six. I am loving this far too much. I'm about to go to bed and I really hope that I don't get flooded on because the radiator that is off is up there. Like, ah, it's just there. And if it leaks in the night, we might drown. I hope I don't drown. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and leave us a comment down below. I'm particularly interested if any of you guys have tried the Lean 15, Lean In 15, and have you seen Joe Wick's books, have you tried his recipes, if you have, let me know which ones we should be eating, because I'm not sure tonight's was the best one, oh, I don't want to put Chris off. So leave us a comment down below, what's your favourite Joe Wick recipe, and are you doing Lean In 15, is it working for you? Anyway guys, I'm off to bed, Good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. I fell asleep. I'm knackered, well not anymore, awake now. 
but it's now quarter past eight and Jen's still not home from work. I think she says something about going to meeting in Leicester. She, she should be back soonish.